evening. It's Tuesday, 8th of November 2016. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adivanenj.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Comprehensive Mechanism to Purchase Coal the government has finalized a comprehensive mechanism to purchase coal for the Lak Vijaya Coal Power Plant in Nirachole, Power and Energy Ministry sources said. The sources said the government has decided to go ahead with a term contract to supply coal to the coal power plant. This will allow the Swiss Singapore Overseas Enterprises Private Limited to supply 50% of their required coal under their existing contract. The remaining 50% will go to contracts on a spot tender basis. Another highlight which says, President appeals to world community resist designs by tobacco lobby. President Maitripala Sisena yesterday urged the world community to resist the attempts of the tobacco industry to undermine tobacco control through litigation and interference in government policy making. We know that the industry will try to influence policy makers in many ways, often support petitioners to challenge government legislation and persuade the mass media. This is to me a direct interference in the internal policy matters of any country. We need not have any compromise of any kind with the tobacco industry, President Maitripala Sirsena said. And the highlight at the bottom says, Navy nabs two with five kilograms of gold being smuggled to India. The Navy arrested two persons attempting to smuggle five kilograms of gold to India in a fishing boat yesterday evening. According to current market prices, the seized gold is valued around 25 million rupees. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, Foreign Secretary rings Chinese envoy. In the wake of a Chinese ambassador, Li Xingliang's critical remarks on Finance Minister Ravi Karnanayaka, Foreign Secretary Isla Virakon yesterday contacted the envoy over the phone and said the government of Sri Lanka was always prepared and open to discuss any issue of concern it is learnt. The highlight in the middle says, Pensions for disabled soldiers from February 17. Defence Secretary Karuna Sena Hetyarachi yesterday gave a written assurance to pay pensions to disabled soldiers who retired from service prior to completing the 12-year service period similar to the pensions paid to soldiers on retirement after the service period. And the highlight at the bottom says, some LLRC proposals can be implemented, says PM. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe yesterday said that some recommendations of the lessons learned and reconciliation commission that could be implemented would be put into practice in the coming years. And now, let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, Despite being water cannon, disabled soldiers win pension battle. They must be met by February 17. Another highlight says, Court refuses stay order on protest. Fourth Magistrate Lanka Jayaratna yesterday refused to issue a stay order requested by the Fort Police prohibiting the protest march organized by the disabled soldiers from proceeding to the Presidential Secretariat. The highlight in the middle says, MR to visit China. Joint Opposition and SLFP Kurnagala District MP Mahinda Rajapaksha is scheduled to visit Beijing on 23rd of November, Joint Opposition sources said. And the highlight at the bottom says, Veeramansa Anvil asked for time to make a statement. Leader of the National Freedom Front and United People's Freedom Alliance, Parliamentarian Vima Veerabansa has requested a postponement from the Financial Crimes Investigation Division with regard to recording his statement as he was unveiled, police media unit said. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.